In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Cinema 4D character tools to rig a basic Batwing rig. Right, let's get started. Here we are in Cinema. We're going to build this on the top view. So let's go to our four-way view and our top view. And we're going to set up the joint chain on this plane. So we're going to go to the character tools, joint tool. Now the joint tool, you need to hold down control to add the joint into the viewport. So holding control, we're going to click and then we're going to click over here to create the humerus and then up here to create the radius. Okay, that's our main arm part and we want to start building the fingers. Now to do the fingers, we don't want them to be children of this chain yet. So we're going to click off and then we're going to start again. So we're going to create the three bones in the fingers. So the main finger, three bones like that, click off, create the next one for the middle finger, and then one more for the pinky, like that, that was good. Now, if you're not happy with the position of these joint chains, you can just simply select the joint, move, and it will scale and change position of the joint between. So that was good. Okay, so now we can start labeling these. And the reason I want to label them is because we're going to mirror it. We want everything correctly labeled so it's easier to mirror. So we're going to call this one shoulder, but we're going to call it right shoulder with an R. So we go capital R underscore shoulder. Like that. And then we'll copy that R underscore. And then this one, so paste that into here and we call this H for humerus. So that's a humerus joint. This one is going to be R for radius joint. And then this one, paste that and we'll put a W for wrist. So there's our three arm joints. Then we'll do our fingers and you can just rotate to see which one we're talking to. So here is our main finger. So we go right main finger, copy that, and then paste that in before the word joint in each of these. Because they have the no number one, two, and three, they're all individually named, which is great. So this one is our middle finger. So right middle finger, copy that, paste that in, like so, then the last one, our pinky, so right, pinky, copy, and then paste all that in. Now we're all labeled up nicely. Okay, so we want these fingers to be a child of our wrist. So let's close these hierarchies up so we can select all those and make them a child, which means when the wrist moves, they'll move with it. Let's go into our 3D viewport and we'll set up our first IK chain. So the IK we want is to go from the shoulder joint to the wrist joint, which means it's going to create an IK chain, meaning if you move this, everything below will move with it. So to do that, we select the humerus and the wrist, and we ignore the radius because we don't need any IK on that. Go to the character tools, and we create IK chain, which you can see creates that line there, and a wrist goal null here as well as the tag. So if we look at the tag you can see that it's got our end solver goal and which joint it's attached to. So if you move this it's going to move that IK chain. Now we do want to be able to move that but we want to do it with a controller because it's easier to create selectable controllers for the viewport. So to do that let's make a simple, we'll get a box and or a cube and we're going to make it editable. We'll see on your keyboard, hit edges, select all the edges and then we're going to right click and we're going to just pull it up so we can see it, edge to spline. And that creates this spline based on those edges. We've got that, let's scale it down 
and I'm going to put a color on it just so it's easier to see within the viewport. Let's put a nice bright pink on it, something like that. Looks good, nice and bright. And then we can move that to where we need it to go. So we're going to put that right where that joint of the wrist is, like that. So that's our controller, so you can select it in the viewport easily. So let's call this right wing controller that so that's going to be a child of the shoulder and then this this goal null is going to be a child of the wing controller which means when that's selected and moved that moves with it the only issue ha we have here is that if you want to rotate the fingers that doesn't work so let's set that up so we're going to select our joint our wrist joint we're going to right click and we're going to choose rigging tags constraint and we use a transform constraint so enable that don't want position we only want rotation and then our controller goes into the target which you can see it's flipped it but that's easy to fix we can just rotate our controller so let's rotate the controller around like that so now we have position and rotation of our fingers we need one more controller and that's because that's going to be called a pole vector and I'll explain that shortly so let's create a null and we'll call this R pole like that and that can go in here as well and we're going to get this one we'll make it a sphere give it a color so we go to automatic and let's make this one blue like that the color is really useful with rigging in the viewport when you can look at the rig and know what color for what sort of controller you're looking at so you can easily select them okay so what we need is a vector that goes from this joint and aims it at this target so that the when you're animating the wing you're not going to have any flipping issues with the elbow because the elbows could flip when you've got just IK so we'll set that up so we select the tag the IK tag and if we look down you have this pole vector option and you can just add a pole but I like to create my own objects so let's drop our pole in here and you can see that's created that line there now that line doesn't really mean anything but I don't really like it being attached to the root I prefer it being attached here and you can do that by going to display and where the pole vector option is selected you can change it from root to joint and that puts it in that position and now this controller will control the elbow and it also means when you're animating it's not going to flip because it's always got a target to aim at okay so that's the main rig there let's just add some simple dynamics to these fingers so let's come down here we'll open these up and again we're going to use a, a IK chain so you select the root and the top where you want the chain to control you go back to character create IK chain now this creates another control and they'll hit a goal and we don't actually need these because this is just going to be a dynamic chain and I don't need a controller to keep them locked so I'm going to delete that and do the same for the other fingers character create IK chain get rid of that goal last one character create IK chain letter of the doll goal okay let's close these and you can see each of these have a IK tag which means it's still exactly how it was however we can now access the dynamics so select those tags go to dynamics and enable now if you push play you can see now they're dynamic this only happens on play so let's get some more time on the timeline so if you're playing and you can tr using your driver there's some dynamics in those fingers there which is exactly what you want for a really simple bat wing rig so let's put that back to zero go back to zero and you can add or remove how much they are how strong the dynamics for those are just with this strength slider here but we'll leave it on default so we're almost done the last thing I want to do is create a mirror so let's select the shoulder go to character go to mirror tool then we go to naming 
and we're going to replace r underscore with l underscore okay go to the tool and hit mirror you can see that's now created a perfect copy of our rig which means if you want to do a basic flapping animation you can select both of those let's push play and have this cool bat wing like that so that's really simple it's not fully animatable like you'd want to have controls over the fingers if you wanted it but this is a simple basic bat wing style animation rig